This is Sanamax. It is an industrial plant in Brown County, Wisconsin. The facility processes dead animal parts for a variety of commercial uses. The raw material arrives by the truckload, and it generates an odor nuisance that torments neighbors. These neighbors are asking the state of Wisconsin to use its authority as regulator of air pollution in Brown County to control Santa Max's malodorous emissions, to restore quality of life in the area, and to make Santa Max a better neighbor. It stinks terribly. <laughs> in the summer, it even can get in the house, which is disgusting. So, it, yeah, it's not pleasant whatsoever. Yeah, it's got to order all by itself. It's hard to compare because it's got to order all by itself. No, nothing comes close to being what it smells like. Is it bad? It, sometimes it can be bad. Um, and for people who've never smelled it before, what's it like? Um, oh, uh, rancid? I don't know. It's hard to explain because it's 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 yucky, putrid. Yeah. Well, they tell you if natural gas is leaking, you smell rotten eggs. Double that. Okay. That was that would be the closest I could get to it. it smells like dirty diapers. I guess is the best way to say it. Garbage, dirty diapers, just doesn't smell good. And it's not faint, it's strong. It's, it's pretty strong most of the time when a wind shift. More than just an annoying odor, neighbors say the malodorous air emissions currently permitted for Santa Max disrupt their lifestyle. Even a simple summer afternoon in the backyard is impossible to enjoy. These residents are looking to the state to impose reasonable conditions on the Santa Max air pollution permit so they can have a normal quality of life. Well, you have to stay in your house for one. Um, if it's nice out, you need to close your windows instead of having them open because the smell comes in. Um, if you plan a cookout or a party or anything like that, you got to change it to inside because the smell is just horrible. It's bad. It's very, well, it's sickening. You want to stay in the house. You don't want to be outside. The, the kids don't like the smell of it, so then we go inside. We go inside because of that smell, so they don't care for it. They'll, they're four and one, and they'll smell, and they're like, oh, ew, mama. I'm like, okay, let's go inside. So it does. It does disrupt what we do every day. It takes your breath away. It's almost hard to breathe. I mean, it's just so intrusive. And um, those days, I'll come out in the morning, get the mail, and they say, oh, it's a Santa Max day. And you know you're not going to be outside. It's just that bad. As the State Department of Natural Resources moves to update the Santa Max permit for air pollution, neighbors ask that the state do everything possible to control the plant's foul odors and enforce the law to the greatest extent possible. We've lived with it all, all of our lives, and so it's not as bad to us as it might be to someone that just moved into the neighborhood, but that might be a reason why people aren't, aren't moving in. But, um, you know, if they can get it under control, that would make life easier. And we're, I don't know how many miles out we are from Santa Max, a good two miles about, two, two and a half miles, and you can still smell it out here, so if that can be retained more into, somehow into their, if they can put it more locally to where their company is or that factory is, that'd be helpful. So I mean, do you think the, the government ought to do more to try to control the place? It would be nice, yes. If they could, if there's ways to do, to keep the smell down, I absolutely think that they should take those measures to make it better, absolutely. I would say please do something about it. There's no reason why anybody should have to live in their house in a neighborhood where you can't go outside and enjoy the nice day.